Hi, so bandwidth part is a new concept in 5G where basically the whole given frequency spectrum band to the telco can be further divided into different subparts. So in 4G, basically the control channel in downlink occupy the whole given carrier bandwidth. So if the 10 megahertz is alloc allocated for 4G technology, so we are continuously transmitting that 10 megahertz in downlink. Whereas in case of 5G, this is narrow, narrowing down. So we are we are not supposed to send the whole chunk of carrier in case of 5G. Now, because we know that in 5G, we have a bigger chunk of carrier bandwidth also. We have seen in the spectrum slide that it goes up to 100 megahertz and even beyond that. So we cannot send all the bandwidth all the time because in that case, user has to receive that all the time and they will consume a lot of power in that case. And they're power consumption will be very high, their battery will be drained quickly. So in that case, in 5G, we have a different bandwidth parts that are defined. So within a given carrier, which is there in frequency and time domain, we can just pick up certain frequency band within that sub frequency band. And in a time domain also, we can just, you know, divide it into different parts, which is a bandwidth part. So any given time, if a user needs to have a small chunk of data and doesn't have to listen to the whole given uh, or transmitted full bandwidth, they can just pick some part of it and just listen to it. But obviously this has to be defined initially by the network and this is characterized by the given numerology. So we have understand there are the different subcarrier spacing or numerology. So depending upon that, this particular bandwidth part will be defined. And here it can be switched between the one part to another part, which becomes active time to time, that will be done by the DCI, which is a downlink control indicator, which we have seen, which we will see in the PDCCH in more detail. So, so far, if we see, there are certain kind of resource block, which will remain active for certain time, and then it may switch from one bandwidth part to another bandwidth part. So we have a given channel bandwidth, say for example, 100 megahertz, and then we have certain PRBs within that. So within that PRBs, it is not required to transmit all the PRPs all the time. So in that case, we can save the battery. Also, it can help to reduce the interference because we are not transmitting the whole given big carrier all the time everywhere. So it is an efficient way of communicating and transmitting uh, the frequency bands within 5G.